Leos, 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 welcome, welcome back, my loves. Welcome back, welcome back. I am the Empress. I'm happy to be here with you guys today. Let's take a look, my loves, to see what is coming in for January 2020. Yes, my loves, 2020. All right. We're claiming this year right here to be the year of entrepreneurs, people that are focusing in and zooming in on their careers and want to be successful in life and build something, build their empires. You guys, this is the year. I have I have a very, very, very strong sense of 2020 being a year of the bosses, okay? Of the bosses. And I'm having this conversation with my Leos because I know my Leos are the go-getters. All right, my Leos, huh? I already know what time it is with my Leos. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. All right, these messages are general. They may resonate, they may not. All right, if they don't resonate, guys, check your moon and your rising. All right, check your moon and your rising. They may, you may have a message there. All right, messages can go vice versa. So this could be your energy or a partner's energy as well. All right, so let's see. Let's see what messages do we have for Leos. What message is there for Leos? What messages do we have for Leos? All right, Leos. All right, all right, all right. At the bottom of the deck, guys, we have the Emperor and the Strength card. You guys, this energy. All right, so we have the Emperor. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries, okay? I feel like you guys are taking on this energy of being the boss. Then we just talk about that, all right? The Emperor is known as the Father card, okay? So, for the men, you guys are stepping up into your dominant energy, all right? You're being that great father. You're taking on that dominant role, that superior role, okay? And this is about organization and logic, structure and discipline and leadership, okay? I feel like a lot of you Leos are taking on that energy, okay? We got that strength card, all right? Great inner strength. Release harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. Okay, so the strength card is known as the card for Leo. Okay, so this is you guys. It's most definitely very dominant and fierce energy. I love it. I most definitely love it. Let's flip this over and see. We got the three of water, three of cups. All right, so there's a celebration. You guys are celebrating. Maybe there's a wedding, a graduation, or a birth announcement. All right, but I feel like you guys are celebrating. All right, you guys are possibly socializing, hanging out, partying. There's, you know, family could be in town, but I'm just sensing that there is a celebration. Okay, you guys are celebrating something here. All right, look, we got the world. This is a job well done. Joy, contentment, gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. All right, so compare these two cards, three of water and the world together. This is somebody celebrating a job well done, okay? You are possibly getting some type of recognition, okay? And then we have release, okay? The end of a phase or a situation, transformation, and it's time to move on. Now, the world card, okay? is about closings of chapters and getting ready to jump into a new phase. So there is a closing of a chapter. I feel like there's a celebration, celebrating. I feel like this is like coming directly into the new year. It's like, okay, for the new year, you guys could possibly be celebrating, you know, having a blast. And then on the 31st, all right, wrap this chapter up. We're going into something new. We're going into a new phase, new year, new me energy is what I'm picking up here. 
closing out phases on old things that don't know that no longer work for you relationships habits things that don't work it's like a new you okay it's like you're shedding back that old skin like a snake you know shedding that skin off of you and then you're just a whole just transforming yourself okay because i most definitely can tell that a lot of you guys are bossing up i'm telling you i just feel that energy for you guys you guys are bossing up okay i most definitely feel that energy for leos a lot of you guys are getting ready to transition from being a worker to a boss your own boss all right if you're in a lower level in the company that you work i'm sensing that leos are getting ready to be supervisor okay i'm getting that energy of moving up the ladder but most definitely a lot of you guys may have been seeing a number 999 all right that's confirmation that a cycle is getting ready to close up all right a cycle is getting ready to close all right, so let's see. Why do we have three of water here for Leos? Why is three of water here? All right, we got the five of wands. All right, so there's lots of people. There's people everywhere. So I'm getting like some of you guys are, you know, getting ready, most definitely stepping out going to a party or you guys are hosting a party or something to that nature most definitely a lot of people are going to be around you okay it's a lot of people that are going to be around you we have the world the world all right what's going on here what's going on why is the world here for leos okay you guys this card the sun card you guys have two energies two great energies in the tarot the sun card and the strength card okay so the Sun card is the most positive card in the tarot deck, okay? So, most definitely, happy that you're closing out a phase, okay? Happy that this, I'm glad this year is up. I'm, I'm ready for something new anyway, okay? Why is the sun card here? Well, that just went to fall out. Some of you guys are dealing with the Lib Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, Queen of Swords, all right? Why is the sun card here? That's the sun card here. King of Wands. You guys, this energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, okay? But you guys are happy, okay? I feel like you guys are happy. You're wrapping this. You're wrapping up a, you know, a phase. You're happy about it, okay? All right? You're happy about it. You're happy. I feel like some of you guys may feel like someone is listening to some rumors. I'm getting rumors. Um, because we have the nine of wands and the seven of swords, okay. So I'm picking up like rumors that may be disappointing you, okay, that you may feel like you need to clear up. But I feel like overall you guys are, you know, trying to close out some type of chapter. I feel like someone may be spreading rumors about you. All right, so we have release. All right, so why is release here? Ooh. Ooh, high priestess want to jump out. You guys could be keeping some type of secret. Could be trying to keep things hidden, okay? Um, the high priestess is the card of Pisces. There could be a Pisces involved. But I feel like some of you guys, you know, are, you know, in your head about something here. Or something that you need to let go of here with the Ten of Swords. Something that has possibly been causing conflict, okay? That's been causing conflict. I feel like maybe you're waiting for some type of truth or you're waiting to set the record straight on something. Um, we got the hermit card. Could be a Virgo involved. But I feel like there's just like, you know, some truth that needs to come out, okay? Maybe that's what it is that you need to release. Maybe your intuition, you're going by your intuition and you're letting your intuition guide you. Okay, why is the high priestess here? All right, Emperor, there we go again. All right, your intuition is telling you that you got this under control, that you, you know, you got it under control. Eight of Swords want to pop out again. The same cards pop back out, okay? I feel like there's something that you need to let go of, okay? Something that you could be holding on to and stuck or feel trapped to, okay? Or feel, in, you know, in bondage to that you need to get out of, okay? It's something that you need to let go of. 
emperor. That is Aries' is energy. But someone here could possibly be, you know, a little controlling. Why is the emperor here? The magician. Oh, someone could be being a little manipulative. And I'm getting a little, a little, uh, you know, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm getting very manipulative and kind of, uh, woo. We got the magician and the devil and the seven of swords. Someone is a lying, cheating, sneaky bastard. Um, and <laughs> is, you know, very disappointing. Maybe this is something that you aren't, you know, you, you don't want this. Okay, look how this person looks. You don't want this this sneaky, lying, cheating bastard. Okay, so some of you guys are getting ready to release that. Okay, some of you guys are getting ready to release that. That that energy is a is a no. <laughs> that energy is a no, no, no. Leos, Leos. All right, Leos. Please give me another message for Leos. Please give me another message for Leos. All right, all right. We have fertility, fertility. So for some of you guys, this is very feminine energy, okay? You could be feeling very much so in your feminine energy. You feel beautiful, okay? Fertility uh, means pregnancy. Some of you guys could be finding out that you're with child, okay? Or this is the mother card, okay? But I feel like for some of you guys, it could most definitely be a pregnancy. We have love begins, okay? So this is the Ace of Cups, okay? So there's like this beautiful new beginning, a new start, okay? Let's see what other, what's the challenge here? What's the challenge? The Empress card as well is about abundance, okay? And I love the the Empress card, okay? The Empress card, she's the most beautifulest. Um, she's like the one that everyone wants, desires. She's very fruitful, you know, like everything attached to her grows. Like it's a very beautiful energy. All right. We have the throat chakra. No, no, no. Someone is either speaking to their mother about something or another feminine, a feminine person, a female person, or someone is most definitely speaking that they are with child. Okay, so I have suffering and silence. Some of you guys have been trying to keep something a secret. Um, and I feel like you possibly have been suffering in silence. Maybe someone here already has a foundation or family. Okay, for some of you guys, it could like be a divorce. Okay, um, I feel like you guys want to see some type of progress, some forward movement. Okay, some forward movement. All right, let's see. Why is this happening? Woo, okay, we got new beginnings. All right, a new start. We got the new beginnings card here. And then we have hope. All right, so we have the star card. Could be an Aquarius involved. All right, but this is about healing. This is about hope, having faith. Okay, so with this, someone is hoping that this is going to give something a new start. Okay, this is going to kickstart something off. All right, what is what is the past energy? What is the past energy? What is the past energy for Leos? All right, all right. Oh, heartache and loss, okay? So maybe there was a breakup, a sad moment for you guys. Maybe there could have been a third-party situation, okay? Someone is waiting for something to end, okay? And something new to start, okay? So someone wants something, wanted something to end, okay? And start fresh is what I'm getting. There could have been some heartbreak or sorrow. It could have been a breakup or you were feeling sad about something in the past, Okay? All right, let's see. What is crown in this situation? Someone was hurt. Maybe someone's speaking to a mother or speaking to a mother or speaking to um speaking to a mother or speaking Telling someone that they want something new. Okay, we got the transformation card. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Okay, but I feel like there there needs to be some type of ending of some sort. 
okay? There needs to be some type of ending, okay? Someone is very disappointed, okay? Someone is, you know, kind of disappointed in their feelings about something here. Someone I'm getting to, someone didn't want to tell someone something, okay? About something new or a leap of faith. And then we got this... <laughs> This authority card again, the emperor. I'm telling you, the emperor card has been coming out a lot lately. And it looks like you guys are getting right back to work. It's like, okay, I'm dealing with this situation over here. I got my heart, my feelings hurt in the past or whatever. But I'm looking towards a new start, okay? I'm looking towards trying to end this heartbreak. And I'm looking for something new. And now I'm back in my element because we got recognition and reward, baby. All right? Someone, I feel like, could be trying to tell your, um, someone here could be trying to, like, tear your reputation down is what I'm getting. Because we have disruption and recognition and reward. It's like someone is trying to, like, I, I also picked up on rumors for you guys, okay? I did pick up on rumors, but I did also see, I see here as well that there is some challenges that you guys are trying to move on from, Okay. So there's some things that happened in the past that you guys are trying to move on from, okay? You guys are trying to move on from. And maybe you feel like someone is trying to, you know, mess up your reputation, okay? Hmm, interesting, interesting. Very interesting read for Leos. Very interesting. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, someone is very into... Let, let, give me one minute. Let me cut this off. Okay, I'm picking up two. Someone's mother could be very highly intuitive um, because we got third eye chakra and we have intuition and we have triumphant success, which is the ace of swords. Someone's mother or you guys could be picking up intuitively the truth about something, but somebody is very, very highly intuitive. Someone is very like, I could even say psychic. Okay, someone's mother, I'm picking that up too. Someone's mother is very, very highly intuitive is what I'm picking up as well too. Like someone knows the truth. Someone knows, can see through someone look right at them and and read them it's what i'm picking up as well too okay i'm definitely picking that up i'm definitely picking that up let me see why heartache and loss is here All right, so, oh, yeah, some of you guys were suffering in silence, okay? There were some obstacles that you could have been going through, possibly dealing with other people is what I'm picking up, okay? Someone doesn't feel comfortable in a group setting, didn't feel comfortable in a group setting, okay? Because we have the four of cups and the three of cups and the five of cups. Someone had issues with, it was like a group setting and there could have been, you know, obstacles within the circle is what I'm picking up on as well, okay? So I feel like some of you guys, were afraid or you were suffering in silence okay you was you know hurting but you didn't really want to show that you were hurting okay why is the transformation card here why is transformation well they finna pay for it now because y'all about to ooh with that emperor card coming in that future whoever whoever tried to try to piss in your cereal they're gonna regret it going ahead Last transformation here. Okay. All right. Let's see. Look. Look what I tell you. We got recognition and reward. Memories of love and rest and rejuvenation. Okay. So it looks like someone here is looking back over the past. It's remembering something that someone did or said. Okay. I feel like some of you guys took a little break period. And now you're getting ready to go full throttle ahead. Wise authority here. Mm, crown chakra. I know <laughs> what I'm capable of. Material harvest. I know what I'm a. I know what I'm capable of. I know that Leo's. I love this energy. Okay. Like I say, I know for a fact a lot of Leos that I know are are coming into 
that that boss energy i'm telling you y'all already got it naturally y'all got it naturally naturally it's yours all right so let's see what messages do we have for my leos in love let's get some love messages January 2020 for my Leos, my Leos. What messages? Ooh, oh, okay, all right. I'll take those. Some of you guys are going to be releasing an ex, so some of y'all are letting the ex go, all right, because you know you deserve better. Well, give me one more message. Give me one more message for Leo. Give me one more message for Leo, please. Give me one more message for Leo, please. One more message for Leo. Well, cards are just falling out. Give me one more message for Leo. One more message for Leo. Ooh, okay. All right, playfulness. All right, so um, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So after some of you guys have released someone, because you know that you are deserving of more, okay? So you decide to, you know, this person is causing me too much too much pain, heartbreak, sorrow, you know, I'm going to let that go. I'm going to let that go, right? But now I'm going to go play around a little bit. I'm going to go have some fun, okay? I'm going to go have a little bit of fun. It's my turn now, okay? It's my turn now. <laughs> it is my turn, all right? If somebody played with you, they better watch their back. They better watch their back. <laughs> I don't know why they playing with the Leo. All right, guys, I hope these messages resonated, okay? If they did, don't forget to click that like button. Don't forget to comment. Let me know what's going on in that comment section, as well as share with your family and your friends. Now, if you want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, that information will come across the screen, all right? And you can contact me via email, and my team can get you set up for your very own personal reading, all right? All right, thank you guys so much. Happy holidays, and see you guys in 2020.